So let's start your lesson. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to study daily news in this lesson and the title is How much radical transparency is good for a workplace? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so this time let's have words and phrases, okay? So we will learn some of the words that are used in the article. Okay, so I'll play the U.S. audio and please listen and then repeat after, okay? Okay. Okay, let's have the first one. Please listen. Ten. Ten. Wow, very good. Next one. Have a say. Have a say. Wow, very good. Next. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay, one more time. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay, very good. Let's have the last one. Transparency. Transparency. Wow, very good. You have a nice pronunciation. Okay. Okay, so this time let's check the sample sentences. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you will be okay. So I will read the sample sentences and then you will repeat. Okay. Hey. Okay, so let's start. We tend to get cold winters and warm, dry summers in this part of the country. Uh, we tend to get cold winters and warm, dry summers in this part of the country. Wow, you have nice accent. Okay, let's have the next one. When he's 18, he'll begin to have a say in the running of the family business. When he's 18, he'll begin to have a say in the running of the family business. Okay. Let's have the next one. The silence went on so long that it became very uncomfortable. Uh, the silence went on so long that it became very uncomfortable. Wow, very good. Okay, let's have the last one. We want more transparency in government. We want more transparency in government. Wow, very good. <laughs> okay, before we move on, do you have any questions? No question. Okay, let's move on to comprehension, okay? okay. So, we will listen to the article and... Yes, we will listen to the article. But before that, uh, we will check the questions that you will have to answer later, okay? Okay. Okay, so I will read the questions for you. Okay, right. let's have the first question. What is one secret most companies have? Number two. What is one? Okay. <laughs> what country is the company Richter based in? Let's have number three. What situation can make workers feel exposed and uncomfortable? Okay, so <laughs> this time we will listen to the audio now, okay? All right. Okay, it starts now. How much radical transparency is good for a workplace? Most companies have secrets. For example, things like how much money the workers and the company make. These tend to be known only by people at the very top. In 2018, there was a Future of Work study. It showed that workers would like to see businesses change. They want companies to be more open. They also want to know more about how decisions are made. At the Finnish company Rektor, all workers can have a say on company policy. Some experts think that this gives workers a better idea of how a company is run. Others believe that this can cause a problem. It invites the close watching of people at work. This can make them feel exposed and uncomfortable. CEO coach Kim Scott thinks candor is a better approach for employees and companies. She says that feedback should be done in private. Ethan Bernstein is an associate professor from Harvard Business School. He says that companies need to find the sweet spot between transparency and privacy. Okay, so this time 
Let's proceed to answer the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, so please answer my questions, okay? Let's have the first question, okay? What is one secret most companies have? Uh... Be the amount of money they make. Wow, very good. Yes, the amount of money they make. Okay, very good. Let's have number two. Yes, okay. What country is the company Richter based in? See, Finland. Okay, very good. Let's have number three. What situation can make workers feel exposed and uncomfortable? A, being closely watched. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, you have any questions or no? No questions. Okay, let's move on to read out. Okay, so this time you will read the article, okay? Okay. Okay, you may start. How much radical transparency is good for work workplace? Most companies have secrets. For example, things like how much money the workers and a company make. These tend to be known only by people at the very top. In 2018, there was a future to work study. It showed the workers would like to see businesses change. They want companies to be more open. They also, wanted, they also want to know more about how decisions are made. As a Finnish company reactor, all workers I can have a say on company policy. Some experts think that this gives workers a better idea of how a company is run. Others believe that this can cause a problem. It invites the close watching of people at work. This can make them feel exposed and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. CEO Court Kim Scott thinks Candor is a better approach for employees and companies. She says the feedback should be done in private. Ethan, Ethan Burstein is an associate professor from Harvard Business School. He says the company companies need to find the sweet spot between transparency and privacy. Okay. Okay, very good. So this time, can you please check your chat box and can you please read the two words? Yeah. Uncomfortable and private. Yeah. Private. Private. Yeah, that should be private. Private. Oh. Private. Private. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, let's move on to discussion, okay? Okay, so I will read some questions again and you will answer me freely, okay? Okay. Okay, let's have the first question. All right. Okay. Um, do you think that it would be good to work in a place where you are closely watched? Mm -hmm. Well, no. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want. I actually don't want someone to watch me to do something, some of my own work. Mm -hmm. And actually, like everyone wants, actually everyone wants the privacy. Mm -hmm. And everyone wants the time to work by their own and not to watch by someone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it should be good to work in a place where we are closely we shouldn't actually we shouldn't be good to work in a place where some ones are closely watch and watching yes okay <laughs> okay so i'll send some sample answer and your answer is okay okay no i don't think that it would be good work in a place where you are closely watched it's because I think that it can affect one's performance at work. For example, if someone is always monitoring you, it could affect your productivity and because people naturally want some privacy while they're talking. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to question number two. Okay. 
Do you think that criticism at work should be done in private? Mm. Well, depends on the situations that I mean, they, the those both both have uh, advantage and disadvantage. And to for criticism before criticism before everyone in the company can make the the workers to not to do that things again i mean mm-hmm. to warn and other another workers that yes. cannot do those kind of thing but mm-hmm. it is very bad for the worker who got criticism by mm-hmm. you know by their boss mm-hmm. and it will be Shame or embarrassed. Yes. Because everyone is watching him. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. I can hear. Is that your mom? <laughs> yeah. I can hear her. Okay. 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 So I'll send you some sample answer. Okay. Yes, I think that criticism not work should be done in private. Because I think that openly criticize, criticizing someone in the office can do more harm than good. For example, the employee who is receiving the criticism could feel embarrassed because other people or other people could hear the conversation. Yes, okay. Can you please say this word one more time? Private. Private. Okay. And this one word also. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, oh, it's okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's have the third question. Okay, this one. Do you think that an uh, an employee's salary should be kept private? Yes, mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. Because salary can affect some. Actually, it, it, it depends on people. Yes. The uh-huh. salary can be. We can expect that the what, what kind of. It's a personal matter, right? What life quality mm-hmm. they are having with mm-hmm. uh, with the salary we can expect, and out of another people. So mm-hmm. someone don't want that. Someone don't want some. Someone don't mm-hmm. want another people to expect what kind of, what is ex- expect the life ex- mm-hmm. life quality mm-hmm. of their house or of their own so maybe they want to kept for keep it private it private so, okay and normally people doesn't Share how much money they have, or how much salary they has. If if someone has a huge estate, then the thief or those and thief can be can attack the house or can sneak into the house and take oh, take money. Yes. <laughs> okay. You will, uh, might, uh, they might, how do you call that? <laughs> they might so rob you, yes? yes? Yes, rob. Okay, so I'll send you some sample answer. <laughs> yes, I think that an employee's salary should be kept in private. It's because I think that people finances are a personal matter. For example, I don't think people usually talk freely about mu- how much money they have uh, or how much money they make. Okay, so uh huh, mm-hmm. we're done with the lesson. So can you please check the yellow part? Okay. 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 So I will read it to you. Three new words and phrases in this lesson. Three difficult to pronounce words. Okay. So I will just practice you again with these words okay (laughs) but I can see that you pronounce well on every word 
but I will just check this one, okay? Okay, can you please read that one for me? Private. Okay, that should be private. Vet. Okay? Private. Like for example, private. that one. Vet. Okay. Private. Private. Yes. Private. Yes. <laughs> private. Okay. Okay, so I'll I'll check another word mm -hmm. for a while. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, one last. Okay, this one. Uncom un uncomfortable. Okay, one more time. Uncomfortable. Okay, very good. Uncomfortable or uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> mm. <sighs> okay, you're very good. You have accent. Your accent is very nice. Mm -hmm. I'll just check some words here. Wow, okay, that's good. Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're done with your lesson, and I can see that you pronounce well. And your accent is very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Are you a uh, Japanese, right? Yes, I'm Japanese. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we we still have six minutes. Do you want to ask me some questions or do you want to have oh, yeah, a topic? <laughs> yeah, have a topic. Can we have a topic? Okay. Something like mm -hmm. Mm, Can you so do you play video games? Oh, video games. Mm, when I was young, I play. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I play Rules of Survival. Do you know that? No. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I play video games when I was young, but now I do not play. Oh. How about you? I play video games every day. Wow, every day. Yeah. Oh, what video games? Like for recently, the four to the famous one, I play Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Okay, what else? Apex Legends, which is a FPS game, or like a shooting game. I don't know about that. Oh, so you're streaming? Are you streaming? No, I don't. Oh no, <laughs> you're just playing video games. Yes. Ah, okay. And also Genshin Impact. Sorry, what is that? Genshin is a RPG. Oh. Game. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. Okay. What yeah, else? That's Actually, that's it. I don't. Mm -hmm. I sometimes play Valorant. It's something like. Ah, uh, it's a like game too. Hmm. So do you play Val Valorant too? Yes. So you play video games every day? Every day? Every day. For how many hours a day? It depends, but two, four uh, normal days, school days. Mm -hmm. uh, I play for two to three hours. A day. A day. Mm -hmm. uh, and to tell if it's a known, known school days, a holiday, mm -hmm. I play. Wow, it's so not like more than like ten hours. So, ten hours a week. It, it fits it if it longest. Wow. Okay, so um, can I ask you something? Yes. Okay, so I can see that you have a nice accent and you uh your English is uh good and Thank you. I want to ask you uh, <laughs> if it's okay. Um. Why are you still here? I mean, why are you still learning English here at uh, Native Camp? I, I don't know. <laughs> I actually doesn't have our communication skills to oh. <laughs> to improve. And mm -hmm. my mother still says my pronunciation is very bad. Oh, your mom! Yeah, your mom is strict. Bad. Actually, it's not very bad. Some place are mm -hmm. some part of my pronunciation is bad. Well, <laughs> I think your mom is strict. <laughs> yeah, very strict. Oh, very strict. Is, is she there? <laughs> yes. Can he, I mean, can she hear us? <laughs> I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just not talk. 
she's reading a book. Oh, she's reading a book. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I can see that you pronounce well, but your mom is strict. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you just need to practice more on your pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, okay, I'll ask you again a question. Is, is that okay? Okay. Okay, so how long have you been studying English? Well, I am. I live in Malaysia right now to mm -hmm. study English, and I'm going to international school. So to say how many, how long I've been in Malaysia and I've been going to the international school is three years. Oh, it's been three years. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's these three years that are the time I learned English mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I can say it's hard or or that's okay. Okay, so are you in Malaysia right now? Yes. Oh, I thought you were in Japan. Yeah. So uh, you were with your mom or? With my mom. Just the two oh, of oh, you? Just two of us. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> um, we still have one minute. Do you want to ask me something? Oh, so have you been to any other countries like Malaysia or... Unfortunately, oh. no. Oh, are you planning to? I'm stuck to? here in the Philippines. <laughs> oh. It's expensive. I cannot oh. afford it. Well, so have you ever traveled in the Philippines? Like going to, to Cebu? Places? Yeah, um, no, not in Cebu, but in Manila. Okay. In, yeah, in other places, but not oh. in Cebu. That's so where, mm -hmm. I mean, which part do you live in Philippines? Uh, Benguet. Do you know Benguet? No. <laughs> Near Baguio City. You know Baguio City? Luzon? Luzon. Uh, I know the Luzon. Yeah, actually. Luzon. I've heard of the Luzon. Yes, I live in Luzon. <laughs> but two cities I only know is Cebu and Manila, so... Yeah, wow. At least you you know that thing <laughs> Cebu yeah. and Manila I've, yeah. I've been to Cebu before wow yeah how many days? five days for vacations wow. I went to Moabuo mm. to snorkel there snorkel oh yeah. okay wow <laughs> so you swim there you swam there <laughs> yes okay <laughs> okay so okay we bye have bye. a few seconds left Okay, bye bye. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Nice day. You're bye. very good. You're very good. With you, bye. Bye.